in Real Numbers in Module 12, Section 7.3. A sample problem says a ratio of boys to girls in Ms. Zombo's class is 4 to 3. In Mr. Stolarski's class, it is 5 to 4. There are 28 students in Ms. Zombo's class and 27 in Mr. Stolarski's class. What is the ratio of boys to girls in the combined classes? Okay, so let's organize our information this way. Zombo's class has 28 students, and there are 4 boys to every 3 girls. Ratio of boys to girls is 4 to 3. In Stolarski's class, there are 27 students, and the ratio of boys to girls is 5 to 4. So there are 5 boys to every 4 girls. All right, in order to find the ratio of boys and girls in the combined class, we need to know how many boys and how many girls. So we will start with Zumbo's class. If there are four boys to every three girls, then there are four boys to every seven students. So the ratio of boys to students is four out of seven. So there were a total of 28 students. So if I multiply four sevenths times the 28, we can cancel the 7. 4 times 4 is 16. That gives me 16 boys in Zombo's class. Well, there were 28 students, so 28 minus 16 leaves me 12 girls in Zombo's class. All right, let's do a similar thing for Stolarski's class. There are five boys to every four girls, so that means there are five boys for every nine students, five plus four. So if there are 27 students, then five ninths of the 27 are boys. So I'll multiply five ninths times 27. Nine into nine, one into 27, three gives me 15 boys in Skolarski's class. 27 minus 15 tells me that there are 12 girls in Skolarski's class. Now let's look at the ratio of boys to girls if we combine them. All right, so combine your boys. You have 16 plus 15 boys to... 12 plus 12 girls. 16 and 15 is 31 boys to 24, 12 plus 12 girls. So the ratio of boys to girls in the combined class is 31 to 24. 